Hi everyone, welcome back to iSolution channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix eSign on iOS and remove the blacklist so you can install IPA files on your iPhone or iPad. Again, no revokes, no crashes, and no more errors. This method works on iOS 16 all the way up to iOS 18.1. I have tested it on both device iOS 16 and iOS 18.1 and it works fine. Whether you're dealing with a blacklisted device, expired certificate, or a sign not opening at all, this guide will get you back on track. Let's go into it. First step, you must install DNS anti-revoke, then go to the website, then click Apple Jor signer button. Click Allow to download the profile. Install the profile by going to Settings. Hit Profile Downloaded and click Install. After Anti-Revoke is installed, you have to unblacklist your iDevice. After that, connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer to remove the blacklist certificate from your iDevice. But this method requires a computer only once. I have provided the tutorial file and the unblacklist remover file. I will insert the download link in the description. First of all, you have to install the Python installer on your Windows. Because this unblacklist script will be run with Python. You can use Python version 13.12. Go to the Python website and download the installer for Windows. I will insert the Python installer in the description. Then install Python on your Windows. Then follow the Python settings as in this video so that the blacklist remover runs smoothly on your computer. After Python is installed, open command prompt as an administrator. Right click on command prompt and click run as administrator. Type cd on cmd. Then open the unblacklist remover folder, then copy the file location or path of the folder. Then paste the path into CMD, then press enter on your keyboard. After that, you have to settings Python path your windows manually to run the unblacklist remover script. Here's how to do it. First, open your local disk. Go to user folder and your name user folder. Then go to the view menu and activate hidden items to display the app data folder as in this video. Click app data folder. Local. Program. Python. Then click Python version that you've installed. Then copy the location folder Python like in this video. And click Windows button, then search edit the system, environment variables. Click on the environment variable section below. Then click the path in the table below. Then click edit. Click new and paste the location folder of Python that you copied earlier. And the last click. Okay, now you are ready to use and run unblacklist remover on your computer. Go back to CMD. Type pip install pimobile device 3. Click enter. And wait a few moments to download this package. Make you have good connection to download it. Once it's finished, don't forget to disable find my iPhone on your device settings. You can turn it back on when it's done. Run python unblacklist.py with your device plugged in. Select option 1 to remove blacklist. Wait a few seconds, the python script will unblacklist your device from certificate revoked. Now you already unblacklist from all certificate. Go back again to your device. Now you can install eZine normally. Click the Apple JR icon. Then select the assigned link you want to install. You can install several links from this website to see which assign works for our device.
As you can see, the assign that has been revoked has been successfully installed, and that means my device has been successfully unblacklisted from the certificate. You can use assign without revoking it again. Next, verify the assign by going to settings. General. VPN and device management. Then click trust the assign app that want to use it. Click allow or restart. Your device will restart, and you will see the setup screen. If you see a screen that says iPhone partially set up, don't tap the big blue button. You must tap on continue with partial setup, and your data will be fine. Then click, don't transfer anything as in the video, so your data will be fine. You will redirect to home menu, without losing data. You can now open and use eZine like normal app. On this step, you have to import the certificate into a sign. Go back to Apple JR app. Then find e -Sign zip certificate. Click on it and open the certificate in a sign. The certificate will automatically import it. Then unzip the certificates. Open that folder, hit the certificate that want to use, or you can follow like this video. After certificate imported, you can install any IPF files what you want without getting revoke anymore. Click three dots on the right corner. Click import. Then select the IPF files that want to install. After imported, go go tab apps. Hit the icon app and click signature. Wait a few moment and click install. And now, the IP of files has been installed on your iDevice without getting revoked even you used the revoked certificate. Once the IP of files are installed and your device is unblacklisted, just unplug the USB cable from the computer and turn on Find My iPhone on your device. To avoid revoke, do not delete Apple J R D N S on your device to avoid revoke in the future. And that's it, you've officially fixed eSign on your iPhone or iPad and can now install IPF files without limits. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more iOS fix tutorials, and check the links in the description for everything you need. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.